False. That was very insensitive of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And finally, in our main event, Tommaso Ciampa with Goldie, as he calls his title, against Aleister Black. Aleister Black has been waiting patiently for his chance to regain his championship belt, which was lost to him to Tommaso Ciampa thanks to the interference of Johnny Gargano. Tommaso Ciampa has has done anything and everything he can to keep that title, and we've seen it. Do you remember that street fight he had with Gargano? But it seems as though lately he's been getting more and more in Gargano's ear, as I put it earlier, and that the last thing we want is for Gargano to help out Ciampa, but Aleister Black has proven that he can stand up with the best of them, even with interference. So, and plus, let's not forget that Aleister Black did even things out with Gargano because it was Gargano's fault that he lost the title to begin with. So, is this time for Black Mass to rule over NXT? Or will Ciampa still have his horrifying reign as NXT champion in NXT? Beth, start with you. Honestly, I think Ciampa, I think Ciampa's going to continue to hold it because I honestly feel that Black's going to be coming up to the main roster soon. That's a good point. JC, how about you? I'm kind of with Beth on that point, on that, but I guess the Petty Me kind of wants Trump to lose it. Yeah, he, he kind of came out of pocket, so I kind of don't even, so I want to say, lose the title. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to, as much as I know that, yes, Aleister Black would come up on the main roster, I still want to see him have one more good run as NXT champion. So for me, I'm going with Aleister Black. In the hopes that not only can he take off Ciampa's head, but he even thinks about trying to interfere, taking out Gargano as well. So, that's that. Alright, here we are. The Royal Rumble is tomorrow live on the WWE Network from Phoenix as well. And we've got quite a bit going on this time for the WWE Royal Rumble. As we all know, the Royal Rumble winner gets a chance to become to challenge the champion of their choice at WrestleMania, both for the men and the women. And we have a couple of new things this year. The winners of the Mix Match Challenge will be entering at number 30. That would be Ron. That would be the truth, our truth, for the men's division, and Carmella for the women. Now we already know who some of the people are going to be in both Rumbles. We just don't know the surprises. For the rest of the card, we have on the kickoff match, on the kickoff show, we have the United States Championship on the line as Rusev defends against Shinsuke Nakamura. The WWE Cruiserweight Championship is on the line as Buddy Murphy, Akira Tozawa, Kalisto, and Hideo Itami go for the title. Tag Team Championship will be on the line as The Bar will defend against Shane McMahon and The Miz. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line as Asuka, the Empress, defends against the man, Becky Lynch. The Raw Women's Championship is on the line. Ronda Rousey defends against the boss, Sasha Banks. And we have the Women's Royal Rumble, the Men's Royal Rumble. Daniel Bryan will be defending the WWE Championship against AJ Styles. And originally, this was supposed to be Braun Strowman, but he was pulled out. So now we have Brock Lesnar defending the Universal uh. Championship against someone who's been long overdue for a title for a title shot, and that is the D, and that is Finn Balor. All right. So let's start off here with go to the kickoff show. The United States Championship is on the line as Rusev defends against Nakamura. Rusev did defeat Nakamura to become the United States Champion, but Nakamura is not going down quietly. And since recently Nakamura did cause Lana to be injured, Rusev wants blood. So, who's it going to be? Will, will we still be celebrating Rusev Day, 
or will we once again re-enter in the United States of Nakamura? Beth, how about you? It's Rusev Day. It's Rusev Day, huh? Rusev Day. Okay. I heard that. <laughs> 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 oh God! For once, it wasn't me. Yeah, for once. <laughs> so, Jay Z, do I even have to ask? Yeah, I'm I'm down for Rusev Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit, I personally feel Nakamura is due for better things. So I, <laughs> but I, I mean. I wouldn't mind Rusev keeping that title for a bit, but for me, I really want to see Shinsuke take that title run and go a little further with it. So for me, I'm going with Nakamura. Not because I don't like Rusev Day, because I'm starting to warm up to it, but only because I think Nakamura, you know, can really elevate that title. If WWE give him a shot, but it's a whole nother episode. <laughs> All right, moving on. We have a four-way dance for the Cruiserweight Championship. Drake Maverick announced that Buddy Murphy will be defending his title against not one, not two, but three other guys at the Royal Rumble. And through a series of elimination matches, it came down to Kalisto of Lucha House Party, Akira Tozawa, former Cruiserweight Champion himself, and Hideo Itami. Buddy Murphy has said that he is one of the best champions they've got on 205 Live Division right now. But these two guys would say it differently. Alright, JC, Hideo Itami, Akira Tozawa, Kalisto, or Buddy Murphy? I see Buddy Murphy retaining. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I don't... I mean, I see... It, uh, I just don't see the other... But the other three quite there, and Buddy Murphy is there and is still there, so I I'm gonna stick with Buddy. All right. Well, for me, the only one who hasn't really had much of a chance to really show off his skills, and I think being a champion would help him out. I think it's Hideo. Hideo came up to 205 Live, and then he just kind of vanished. And then he came back. And now he's really working his way up on the roster there. So I think someone like him could actually wear that title and actually make it. I'm not saying that Bud, but Buddy's not doing a good job of it, because he is. But I think Hideo Itami would definitely be one of the toughest champions they have to date. So for me, I'm going with Hideo Itami. Beth? Honestly, I'm going with Buddy Murphy because... I feel that he's done a good job as the champion, and I feel he's actually bringing, he's actually elevating the Cruiserweight title a bit back a bit more. Not to mention he's put in so much work and everything to be there. Alright, very nice. Very nice indeed. See, Beth gets it. I know Beth gets it. Hey! <laughs> 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 All right, on to the main show. We have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, The Bar, defending against the weirdly created tag team of Shane McMahon and The Miz. Miz feeling as though since Shane McMahon took over his spot at Best in the World last year and winning the title, Miz felt he won the title for him and the two of them could coexist as a tag team. Shane McMahon was reluctant at first until Vince McMahon stepped up and agreed that that could possibly happen. And now Shane has agreed that yes, he would mind being a tag team, being tag teams with The Miz. So they decided to go flat out, go big or go home, and challenge The Bar for the tag team titles. The Bar, in good, the Bar in true fashion, accepted by beating the snot out of both Miz and Shane this past. There is it this past Tuesday night on SmackDown. So the question is though, is that will the bar stay elevated or will the new best friends of Shane McMahon and Miz have what it takes to take out the bar? Beth? Honestly, I f I'm thinking that Miz and Shane are going to take it because 
it's about time we had some fresh blood with the tag team championships on SmackDown, and I, I'm not. I wouldn't be mad at it. All right, JC. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Miz and Shane, but I'm doing it in, in, in kind of reluctance because I don't know. Just whenever a McMahon is in a title run or whatever, I just it just doesn't agree with me, but even if it is Shane McMahon. I have to, I'm going to have to agree with both of you. Shane and Miz probably are going to do something that's going to make them the tag team champions, but I'm just hoping this leads into a program where Shane will finally see just how much of a jerk Miz really is and at some point take him out. So, for me, I'm also going to go with Miz and Shane on the hopes that somehow this team will implode and they have a match. It's probably what's going to lead up to WrestleMania, but who knows. All right. The women's match that everyone is talking about. The man versus the empress. It sounds like a... <laughs> it sounds like a monster movie waiting to happen. <gasps> Becky Lynch won the chance to become the number one contender against Asuka, who won the title at TLC which was long overdue, but that's just my opinion. Asuka has proven time and time again she is one of the toughest women on the roster, but Becky has also said that when she was champion, that title was spoken about, elevated, and made like the top title on SmackDown, and she's right about that. That's not taking anything away from Asuka. Asuka always says she's willing to step up and defend it against anyone who challenges her. So Becky Lynch and Asuka will be fighting tooth and nail this Sunday for the title. JC, are you going for the man or are you going for the empress? Uh, if everything is going the way, there, the way that it's rumored to go, I am going to go with Becky. Because they're going to have it where cause the way it's going, it looks like it's going to be Becky versus probably whoever at uh, WrestleMania. All right, that the man or the empress? I just like saying that. <laughs> this is the hard thing for me, okay? Because although it's about time Oscar got it, I really want Becky to have it back. Ah, uh, it's one of those tough decisions, huh? Yes. Ooh. But. Uh, I'm actually changing my mind from what I put earlier, and I honestly, I think that Asuka's going to retain because of reasons. Oh, really? Yes. All right, because of reasons. Because of reasons. <laughs> well, I have to agree. If what those reasons are correct, um... I'm sorry, Asuka's been long overdue for a championship. And that, and even if she does lose, this isn't going to take anything away from Becky's momentum. She mm -hmm. definitely has proven herself. And even without a title, I think Becky will still be one of the top people on SmackDown. So for me, I would love to see Asuka have a good long run with it and have somebody else step up and challenge Asuka for that championship. So for me, I'm going with the Empress. God, I hope Becky doesn't get mad if she hears this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On Raw for the Women's Championship over there. Ronda Rousey, the current Raw Women's Champion, will be defending her title against Sasha Banks, who also, like Becky, earned a shot at the championship. Ronda Rousey has proven herself to be the baddest woman on the planet, defending it time and time again against any anyone who stepped up. The boss has proven as multi-Raw champion that she has what it takes to become the champion again. She has been training with Charlotte Flair, who did have a matchup against Ronda as a replacement for Becky when she was injured at Survivor Series. And Ronda has stated that she is looking forward to this and taking out Sasha Banks and proving herself as the Raw Women's Champion. So... Will it be the baddest woman on the planet winning, or will it be the legit boss winning? 
I'll bet I'm going to go with you because you don't like either one of these girls, so I'm dying to hear.